Casablanca expert Chet Davis here with you today to give you kind of a, a taste of the highlights in the brand new Bogart version 5 operating system. Well, it's brand new to us in NTSC in North America, just uh, recently released. It's been mailed out to members of the Club Casablanca and is available for other folks, for the folks who are not members of Club Casablanca, beginning Monday, December 3rd, 2012. So this is not a comprehensive tutorial. That will be forthcoming. I will be doing a members webinar in December. And I will be releasing a tutorial DVD for those who prefer that, that method of learning that's coming up in uh, late November, December uh, of this year. But uh, just to give you a quick taste of the highlights, um, the, 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 to be honest with you, there are some features and functions. After you install it, let me come up here and, sh and take you into the system settings. And when I scroll down, there's two new functions that are in the system. In fact, let me go ahead and zoom in on this here. And you can see that I do have the uh, Bogart uh, SE5 uh, enabled. That's the new operating system. There are two that are installed with the Bogart uh, 5 OS, but are not yet available in NTSC. They do have these in PAL, and we're expecting them sometime soon. The first is Render Booster. I'll be talking a little bit about that in this highlight uh, and more in the comprehensive tutorial. But the uh, short story is that the Render Booster is a uh, device, it's actually a mini computer that you attach to your Bogart enabled Casablanca running Bogart version 5 and higher. And it's a mini computer, computer that is a render device and it helps to render your files to uh, compress them actually. It's part of the, the codec process. Uh, along with that, we also have the option for the Shuttle TT. And the Shuttle TT is a jog shuttle device, a piece of external hardware that you can connect to the Casablanca that is enabled with this software that is like the, uh, some of you may uh, recall way back in Casablanca history, we had a device called the um, Twister. And the Twister, not the Twixtor, but the Twistor, Twister is uh, also a piece of hardware that had a jog shuttle wheel. So that's what that is. If you see those, those are the two new options. Again, the Render Booster can have a substantial part in folks, especially those who export HD, who create uh, Blu-ray DVDs, etc., cetera, uh, 12 times faster than uh, working in the regular processor in the S4000 Pro, for example. As we leave that menu and come back, uh, there isn't a, a great deal more that's uh, different in terms of the buttons, okay? Uh, there is, however, uh, very clear language in the release notes and in the promotional material from Macrosystem that there are some changes kind of under the hood, okay? And that has to deal with recording and playback. So uh, let me come over to the record menu and then we're gonna work our way back over to the project settings. But in the record menu, we've had the ability to import video files in the Bogart version 4. In fact, it's gotten much better um, in the Bogart version 4 over 3 and, and certainly over 2, the different kinds of files. I've been using uh, the uh, USB import function to bring in all kinds of files over the last uh, uh, year plus. It has improved a great deal. In fact, I, I did play with this, and let me show you what I've got here. I was able to import a file that was recorded at 60p. 60 frames progressive, 1920 by 1080, and play that back, and the audio does hold synchronization very clear. I just grabbed my little point-and-shoot camera that uh, records at 60p, and it maybe you can't really see it here, but you, I, I can verify that the audio sync did hold, and it held very well. I'm very impressed because some of us have tried to work with 60p and found that the audio sync was off. The video quality looked good, but the audio was off. The um, system also um, holds the promise of being compatible with 24p. Now, I have not tested that yet. I plan on testing it this weekend, and I will have information about that in my forthcoming members webinar in December, as well as in the Bogart version 5 comprehensive tutorial. Speaking of recording, let's pop over to the recording menu and see what's different here. Uh, again, not very much has changed. We have the ability to import files, as I mentioned to you. Supposedly now the 24p and the 60p, in addition to the other file formats that we've been able to import. The other difference is that the Bogart version 5 software is, is set up to enable 
the longer video files that we just couldn't load in previously. Uh, the, some of the higher end Sony DV camcorders, the Sony HD camcorders I should say, have the capability to record very large file sizes, essentially raw video files, and uh, they were just too much data to work in the prior versions of the Bogart OS. Bogart version 5 enables us to import or load them and then stitch them together because of the FAT32 programming. Uh, folks who use those cameras know that the, the files are truncated, are, are, are chopped up in bits when they import it into a computer, not just the Casablanca, but pretty much any video editing computer. Well, the new Bogart version 5 OS allows us to seamlessly put those pieces back together and have your original long form video. You can see we're back over here in the edit menu and there's very little that's changed within the operation of the system that you see here. So pretty much as you go through creating your project, you're not going to notice much of a difference in the Bogart version 5 environment. The, the biggest change, depending on the monitor, the monitor setting that you're used, um, there is a, a new function in the Bogart version 5 operating system that is said to play back a cleaner, stutter-free uh, HD files. So you can watch it on your HD monitor and it's with the absence of stutter that some people were noticing when they were playing back uh, from the edit bin, uh, even in the finish window, on their editing monitor, not on the DVD in the finished version, but uh, as part of the editing process when they went to play it back, they were noticed some stuttering and stopping. Well, the Bogart version 5 uh, OS has been engineered to provide a smoother video playback signal. The biggest change is right over here under the OPT button, O-P-T. And this is, again, a function only enabled through the Bogart version 5 operating system. On the Bogart version 4 operating system, we did have this function under option, the ability to export a scene, okay? Now, when I exported a scene, it came out at one bitrate as an AVI file. What's changed in the Bogart version 5 environment is this button right here, the OPT button, enables me to select an uh, AVI file as well, but one of four different quality settings, just like we saw over there in the project settings menu, is I have variable bit rates. I shouldn't say variable bit rates, they are preset. They are set bit rates, set compression schemes, but I have the ability to choose low, a lower quality is more compressed. It's more highly compressed. It's going to yield a smaller file size, whereas a maximum quality will result in a higher file size. It's more data, but it will be a better quality video image. Okay, So um, I did take a 50 second test HD file and exported it out to each of these four quality settings. And that is available to members at CasablancaExpert.com. You can go to the members homepage and check the link up near the top and you'll see I have uploaded these four video files so you can see yourself the quality difference that's available. And I also break it out with the very specific uh, file size, uh, how much data each of these four uh, settings yield with a specific file. So uh, the other difference that I, I want to point out to you, if, if I'm sure somebody's going to have this question in Caltech support and macro system, it does appear to be a pull down menu here. See where it says Modus AVI? Okay. Well, I, I can click there, but nothing's happening. It's, it's grayed out. It's unavailable for clicking. I'm told in, in my research and looking in the manual that will be enabled when the render booster is inserted. Okay? When the render booster is inserted and you have uh, put in the 12-digit activation code, you will have the ability to access additional uh, export schemes, compression schemes, or file formats to export your videos out. So that's a really nice feature that many of us are looking forward to as we do more and more uh, sharing of our videos over, uh, th over the internet. Okay? So that's the feature function uh, in the Bogart version 5 that's new in the edit menu. Uh, nothing substantial has changed in the transition image processing and titling. The only impact again is the stutter free playback that you'll notice and the ability to uh, now work with the 60p and, and 24p images. In the recording and edit menu, the audio recording and edit menu, there are two new functions over here. We uh, have had the ability to export, uh, rather to import audio off a CD, 
both uh, WAV files and MP3 files. What some people have asked though for a while is the ability to import MP3 files off of a USB flash drive because they are so prevalent. So many of us have several of these sitting around. I use them all my time and I would love to have the ability to drag and drop an MP3 audio file, whether it's narration, whether it's a music clip, uh, you know, uh, background sounds, uh, natural sounds, sound effects, and drop that onto a flash drive and import in my Casablanca. We now have that ability in Bogart version 5. So I click on the import button here and it brings up a menu. And what I want to do is I want to uh, click on this little USB icon over here to select which source. Yeah, I want the Kixton drive. And it identifies that I have, in fact, two uh, music files on here. I have Medieval Dances and I have an Autumn Leaves, which is the song by Nat King Cole. Uh, something else I should point out, there's, there's, there's two things here. You can see, a, as soon as I click on the button, it will go into the preview button, okay? The, the looping audio preview. And the uh, check marks, or the tick marks, over here are much more pronounced than we've seen in the last versions of the operating system. So uh, you can adjust the, the play intro time just like we have, uh, and I know many of you, if not all of you, have used the uh, import audio CD function, but we have the ability to click and it will play it back. Okay, place the check mark, and then we have MP3 options, okay? I can use a file name, uh, and frankly, I don't know what ID3 is, to be honest with you, and I can put it as part of uh, an album or an artist, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and say it's part of an album. We'll keep the original file name. I left click OK and I left click OK and we're importing that track which should show up then in my audio bin. And there we have it here. As it loads in, we're getting the hourglass symbol. As, there we go, uh, track 23, Medieval Dances. So now that's loaded into my Casablanca video editor. Very cool, isn't that cool? So I also have a soundtrack up here when I play this back. I, I don't know what that's doing there, but a little Cat Stevens song. Um, and if I wanted to export that out, or maybe more accurately, I've got this narration track. Well, I want to do scene to sample. So I rip that uh, audio and send it over to my audio menus. So there's the uh, 28 second, 27 frame audio clip of me talking. And I want to I want to bring that out. I want to use that uh, in my computer. Maybe I want to bring that and load that onto my iPod uh, or my other MP3 player or use it in some other capacity. Uh, and again, previously we had to export that out to tape or export that out to disc, to CD or DVD, and then bring that over to our computer. We have the option at the far right over here now to export out to a device, okay? So I can select the target, which is really cool. CD, DVD, DVD dual layer, a Blu-ray disc, because I do have the Blu-ray burner in this S3000, or to my flash drive. So whatever external device you have connected via USB will show up by name here, and I've got a Kingston device. So we simply click on that, add that over, and now we can export that. And now it has exported successfully to my USB flash drive. So I disconnect my USB flash drive, and I can walk this over to my computer and uh, uh, utilize it there however I want to use my MP3 file. So really, really cool feature and function, the ability to import and the ability to export uh, MP3 files out to or from uh, a USB device. Uh, nothing substantial again has changed over here under the uh, audio mix menu. And as we work our way back to the finish menu, again, nothing substantial has changed here as well. So as I'm in the Arabesque screen right here, and you can see that we've uh, launched Arabesque from the finish menu, there's just one quick note I want to share with you. And that is if you are still using Arabesque 4 with Bogart version 5, it is very important, this comes from the manufacturer, it's very important that you upgrade your Arabesque to the version 4.24C. 4.24C. Okay, don't use the older version of Arabesque. You're going to run into problems, possibly. And if you're working with um, the Arabesque 5, as I am here, you want to upgrade to, to the Arabesque 5.6, okay? And I always recommend that folks read very carefully the release notes, okay? The release notes came with your software. If not, you can go to the website and download the release notes uh, for both the new Bogart version 5 and the new Arabesque 
uh, version 5 as well. It's important that you understand uh, the common issues, the known issues, um, and, and the fixes that are addressed in these new software products. So I hope you enjoyed this quick taste, this quick look at the uh, brand new Bogart version 5 operating system software for the Casablanca series of next generation editors. Again, I'll be producing a uh, comprehensive webinar that will be available to members at CasablancaExpert.com. That's coming up on Thursday, November 6th. And if you're catching this video after that time, you can look for this now in the members archives. If you're not already a member of my website, I invite, I encourage um, you to, to check it out uh, at a website membership of just $12.99 US per month. It's less than 35 cents a day, very affordable, uh, giving you access to more than 600 articles, tips, tutorials, streaming videos to help you get the most from your Casablanca video editor. If uh, online videos uh, are not your thing you'd prepare, rather prefer to have a tutorial DVD, uh, check my online web store for that. Uh, Mid-December, I should have a tutorial DVD available that will take you through all the features and functions step-by-step -step in the Bogart version 5 environment. Thanks for joining me, Chet Davis, the Casablanca expert, saying ciao for now.